big announcement back end of last week. We signed a new contract, uh, keeping you at the club until 2016. Um, yeah, just give us your thoughts on that. You must be pretty delighted. Yeah, obviously very, very chuffed. Um, it was a, it was a sort of a difficult season as a team uh, this year, but um, with us obviously being relegated. But on a personal note, uh, um, I, I enjoyed uh, probably the best season of my career. Um, so it's, uh, it's obviously nice to be rewarded um, at the end of the season and. Um, I owe a lot to the club for, for the opportunity that I've, I've been given here and I want to continue um, developing my game and developing the club uh, into, into a team that comp can compete um, in Division 1 consistently and, and that's obviously going to be the goal over the next three seasons. Sure. Um, did you ever, ever have any um, doubts or you know, is there any temptation yeah. to, to, to play elsewhere or is it always, you're always looking to, to get yeah, I mean, to Derby? Uh, yeah, that, uh, that's quite a quite a tricky question because um, obviously how you're wanting to, as a player, you're wanting to play at, at the top level, and and with with going down into into Division Two, um, there were a few sort of uh, thoughts and uh, questions that I, that I asked myself, and um, but ultimately I, I believe in the club and I believe in what uh, the processes and everything that, that's going on behind the scenes, um, and, and I'm confident that uh, we'll we'll be competing in in both one-day competitions and, and uh, in the four-day competitions over the next three seasons and, and I really want to uh, do well for Derbyshire and, and uh, um, sort of continue to, to progress my career here at, uh, at Derbyshire. Fantastic. Yeah, just give us a brief assessment of how, of how, you, th of how you felt, I suppose, um, batting out in the middle last year. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, I definitely turned, turned a corner probably, probably the year before in terms of sort of stepping up, uh, stepping up my game. Um, and this year, going down to three uh, potentially made a little bit, uh, well, it did make a difference. Um, as soon as I moved down to three, I, I started scoring runs. It was, quite a, it was quite a strange thing. I think it took a little bit of the, the pressure off of opening um, with, with obviously having the captaincy. Um, I, I don't think the captaincy in any way has sort of hampered how I played. I, I've sort of almost thrived, thrived with the captaincy. And um, yeah, I just I, I became more consistent in. in, uh, in Building innings, um, I think I learned a lot from Shiv and the way he plays, um, uh, the, the patience, and I think batting with him um, against Knots uh, early on in the season was was a, sort of a big a big sort of turn for me. I, I, I sort of uh, I had a sort of, I can't remember exactly what we put on, but we had a, a bit of time out of the middle where I was able to to sort of play with him and uh, and learn a few things off him, and then just develop from there. Chez and I put on a big. Uh, a, a big partnership up at Headingley, and then everything sort of sort of took off, and yeah, it, it turned into it turned into sort of a dream a dream season uh, on a on a batting front uh, for me, and hopefully I can continue that um, over the next couple of seasons. When you were uh, starting to sort of trial at the club and in, in your first few games, um, which only be what five five years ago? Yeah, perhaps? yeah, yeah, it was. Um, remember your debut down at Cheltenham, which obviously was pretty historic. I remember playing with you there, Jake. One hundred and seventy. Um, <laughs> So when you think about your progression through the club, it's been quite uh, quite rapid and quite meteoric. Really, you know, two yeah. years as, as captain. Um, you must have learned a hell of a lot about yourself, about your own game, and, and, and what's required as a first class captain. I think so. I, um, I, I think well, obviously, my, my sort of rise in cricket is is a lot different from how most people will do it. With with obviously playing international hockey before, um, so I had. Um, quite a lot of experience of, of playing sport at a, at a top level before I necessarily kicked on on the cricket on the cricket side. Um, so that, that definitely the hockey side definitely helped um, helped with that. Um, and uh, playing in the leagues up in, in the Central Lancashire League for Unsworth for, for sort of three seasons really gave me um, the responsibility to make sure I, I had to perform and, and score runs as as the, the professional. Um, and I learned a lot about my game over those sort of three seasons and, and things worked out perfectly in terms of timing um, that I arrived just at the right time with, uh, with Derbyshire mm -hmm. and I was at a stage where I wasn't sort of just starting off my career, I'd already sort of progressed it with, with the Dolphins um, and I'd learned a lot playing in, South, playing in South Africa and then I'd come out and play club cricket here, although not, not to, the, to the standard of county but it, I've still learned a lot about my game so that when I did start, start off um, I knew enough about my game to, to sort of compete, uh, to be very competitive. And then over the, the last few seasons, yes, you go through ups and downs, but sure. in particular over the last couple of seasons, I've really sort of kicked up. Perfect.